everybody to girl next door easy and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my youtube channel it's great to meet ya it's great to be ya and it's great to be here welcome to a game we call hooked on you a dead by daylight dating dating simulator in case you didn't know i played a few dead by daylight stuff yeah apparently there's a dating game which i was not aware of but thank you so much to charlie for giving this game and don't worry max i will be playing the game you gave me soon in just a bit don't worry about it um welcome to hook on you a dead night a dead a, dead, a day by dead no a dead by daylight dating simulator we're trying to figure something out to play and this is one of the games that i remember still having so that that's so great so yeah <coughs> let's check it out new file what for, what shall we call you ac that's my name for some of you i didn't know <coughs> You wake up on the beach soaking wet, salt water stinging the inside of your throat as if you'd nearly drowned. Water falls from your mouth as you open and gasps for air. You have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you only remember your own name, but not where you came from or a single fact about your life. What you do know is, despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, there is a s you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. <coughs> that really went down the wrong pipe, huh? You need a minute, or can I go on? Because I can give you a minute, we've got plenty of time. And it's really... <laughs> An eternity, if you catch my drift. Whoa, not that ocean, sorry. AC, may I continue? Please, go on. Okay, as I was... <coughs> as I was saying... You look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue waters of newly arrived aired where? Water. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. Nasty, with the beautiful stuff coming out of its eyes and nose. A decomposing face stares upon you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit. A stream of dark piled bugs, worms, and other ick. Question races through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who is behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. What will you do? Close my eyes. Close your eyes. This must be a nightmare, right? It's not happening. It's not happening. The mantra centers you, and you're briefly able to find peace. The lapping waves go silent, and for the first time in your entire life, it feels like you're in control. When you open your eyes... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You're in the exact same place, except now that the disgusting chorus is smiling at you. Even the dead have a wondrous time on our island. I promise you will too. Don't worry, you're going to do just fine. We wouldn't want anyone else. <coughs> well, that was sure weird. That voice again. Do the oceans normally talk? Am I Moana? Whoa! Your memory isn't right, but you're pretty sure you remember learning as a child that oceans do not speak directly to people in spooky terms. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger any longer on your current situation as you feel something bu soft bump into your foot. A volleyball with a red hand mark. Wilson! 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 From Castaway, Wilson! When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand there next to you. You stare down, frozen. A voice calls from behind you. A little help, please. You turn around and you see what's waiting for you. Your jaw just about hits the ground. Oh my god, it's the Huntress. She was already hot in game. She's still hot here. I'm not familiar with who he is. She's a stabby dude. Oh, I know her. She's the freaky dude that comes out of the TV. I don't know their names. Chainsaw Man. Four gorgeous monster monsters. <coughs> Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and a well-tended volleyball court. Each one of them oozes with death energy, a magical aura reaching out and penetrating you via your eyes. Your heart begins to raise. Curiosity, fear, and desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed. Let's call them killers. I don't know. Not to be judgmental, but that's just the energy they put out there. So many competing feelings rush through your mind at once. You're completely paralyzed. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? 
There are weird. These are there are weird days. There are weird days. And then there's this. All you can look, do is look down at the ball and back up at this monstrous line of well, literal monsters, sexy ass monsters. So, what do you do? Oh shit! You guys can see his face. Wait a minute. Let me just show you guys what they look like. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe I should just stay down here so you guys can see the fucking screen. Uh, toss it back. You bend down and grab the ball. It's warm from sitting in the sand on this beautiful day. When you give the ball a toss, it arcs beautifully through the air and lands right in Huntress's hands. Not bad, stranger. I kind of want to aim for her, I'm not even gonna lie, she's so hot. Huntress muscles rips as she grips it in her hands. Ripple, ripple, not rips. You look up and down and consider what it might be like to help tightly in those strong arms. Warm, perhaps. Maybe a little sweaty, but that's okay. It's natural. Try hard much? <coughs> They're speaking directly to you, but you can't bring yourself to reply. You're entranced. When you snap out of it, you realize that everyone has gone back to the volleyball court. A little again, you look across the beat at these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusions into their private beach. Should you be frightened? Worried? Excited? I did refer to them as killers, not to give too much away. But at the same time, damn, they are looking very appealing in their own way, and nobody so much as lifted a blood-soaked finger in your direction. Don't be scared, AC. You were made for this. Well, geez, if Spooky Ocean Voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to work out. With no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. I'm intrigued, not gonna lie. I'm very intrigued. Seems like you've derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. You derailed, you derailed the game just by showing up, nitwit. And I guess you're also a nitwit. But it's best to just go with that. I'm... Look, it's best to just go with what Trapper says when he says it. It's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who seems to have fresh blood in their hands. Oh yeah, he does have fresh blood in his hands. Don't worry about that. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than a silly game. What's your deal? What brings you here? You mean they're here to do more than distract from my total domination? <sighs> that was Wreath. That sign means he was done with the games too. Either that or he saw a butterfly or something. Look, I don't care why this slack job moron is here. I just want to know, can I kill them or not? You know you can't. At least not yet. Oh yeah, not yet. Hey AC, you might want to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind. There'll be plenty of time for, <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. Be warned, answer quickly and answer well. This is time could very important later. Very, very important. Or not important in any way whatsoever. Probably that one I can't remember. How attractive would you say you are? Very. I'd say I'm very attractive. That's what you think? Very attractive compared to this? Trap reflexes. His muscles are so tight you can practically see blood running through his veins. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Shit. Invisibility? Same, although I think I already am. What was your best subject in school? None of these. I was good at science. History? Nice, it's important to know what, what that came before so we're not doomed to repeat humanity's mistakes. I mean, we will anyways, but still. What's your favorite animal? What's a mustelid? Um, cat. Definitely a cat. Why does everyone look at me? You think just because I'm a typical cute goth girl, I have some specific love of all cats, and more specifically black cats? Well, I do, but you can all go to hell anyways. What's your favorite color? Ooh. I really like the color red, not gonna lie. That's the closest. Red. Some call it the color of love, but love is just another word for pain. What's your dream job? Not working at all. If we get to do what you really want, why work at all? It takes a lot of courage to break free from society's expectations climb the ladder. Or she could spin laziness into some sort of grand crusade. The damn millennials. Best flavor of ice cream? Chocolate. My favorite flavor is pain. Jesus Christ. Same. Same here. Probably. Mine is vanilla. Swirled with pain. 
I think mint chip is the greatest flavor ever conceived myself. But enough about ice cream, am I right? Hold on, hold on a second. This reminds me, I am right, always. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. Oh, we're teaching lessons now, narrator. You rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island. Even for baseless voices. Tell me, what's the best flavor of ice cream? Mint chip. So obedient. I think you're gonna do just fine. For now, we'll follow the narrator and see what happens. <coughs> anyway, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants you to start getting to know them. I'm Chapper. I pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Ralph. Wraith, I mean. Hi, I'm Wraith. I'm nothing like everyone else. I like nice people and loathe big dumb idiots. Hey, what's up? I'm a spirit. I don't like most things. I don't really hate things either. It's not worth my time. But the things I do hate, I really hate, you know? Based on my personal observation, life is nothing but suffering in society. Carefully calculated a lie to keep everyone subservient in those powers. It's better to choose just not... It's better to choose to just not take part. It seems like she's downright murdered by society. She hates it so much. Oh wait, I remember Spirit Story now. That's almost exactly what happened. Hey, I'm Huntress. Don't let these bummers get you down. There's lots of fun to be had on this island, along with lots of love. We're gonna aim for Huntress. Yes, there it is. If you know what I mean, grow up. Grow a body. I've explained a thousand times I'm dead. I'm not a literal ghost. I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. Whatever, fog body. That's not nice. He's not nice. You love it. Only sometimes. Ew, really? That's disgusting. That's why she likes it. Don't speak to me. I also hate it. Stop speaking entirely, actually. For the first time, I agree with Reed. Let's move on, otherwise they'll do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off soon enough. If we're done playing... If we're done playing, let's do something else instead. For once, I actually agree with the meathead. I say we go to, the, to my yacht. It's the massive boat dock nearby. I give everyone a taste of luxury and power. Wraith rolls his eyes. Don't mind him, he just hates fun and happiness. No, I hate endlessness and soul-crushing pursuit of wealth. Where you flaunt it needlessly in its cruelty and its endlessness. And dangers? I don't know what the last word was. What about hanging out by the pool? I find water calm and simple and beautiful. Hey, what about our volleyball game? We can exercise and have some fun as a group. Are you serious? That's a perfectly good lounge to chill out right there. I'm tired, and besides, I hate being in the sun. Where do you want to go? Volleyball. Because we're, we're here for Huntress. I hate that I interrupted your game. You should finish it. <laughs> yeah, I love to play out those. I also love to meet new people. I also love to bring them home to play. I'm sort of a big kid at heart. Obviously, you are too. I like you already. She likes us. <laughs> she likes us. I hate people who are too serious. They ruin everything. Well, if you don't handle them swiftly. Hold on. Just for one moment. This is Dwight and Claudette. Colette, Cla Claudette. Our activities coordinator. They're also the cooks, waiter, bartender, janitor, every other job. They only help remaining on the island. We call Murder Island. Cue for dramatic musical floors. None of the others survived. I am survived the interview process, I mean. Hence, why we shall herefore, therefore refer to them as survivors to capitalists. These two have worked here for so long, so very long, I don't actually know, know how long it's been. Sorry, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their mandated job. We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend waiting for us to present you with your options whenever possible. And don't just run off to various activities unsupervised. Claudette looks really good. <coughs> we don't have much autonomy around here. The least you can do is allow us to do our job. The most you can do is help us get off this art, Dwight. Oh my god. Pardon me, please follow us. Uh, hey narrator? Yes. Something I can help you with? Those two, Claudette and Dwight, did they just start mentioning something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape them? Oh no, 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 no. I think you're mistaken. It seems like Dwight was asking for help to get off this island though. Oh yes, right, that that's true he was, but he just meant that he wants to get to the other vacation island getaway. A couple months out of here. He has a much fancier accommodation than this island. With those big corporate outfits. Trust me, you wouldn't want to go there. With all that money comes from a lot of restrictions. This is where I belong. Off you go. It's time for an activity on this island. Your decision matter mostly when I agree with them. Not like the other island. So what will it be? Volleyball. Because we're here for the mama. 
Wow, it's so exciting to have someone else into athletes on the island. Spirit and Wraith are so boring and Trapper is so predictable. Relying on brute strength to win games, he has no respect at all for grace and skill. Thank goodness he didn't choose to yacht. What kind of person wants to be in a sitting duck in the middle of the open ocean? You're just asking for a sneak attack from an elk. Wondered how long it would take for her to bring up the elk attack. Game starting up again. Make sure you're watching close. She really is something, huh? She really is. Literally, she's so fucking hot, man. Like, damn. Elk don't swim. Live in the forest long enough and you see an elk swim. Believe you me. Cheer for me, cute stuff. Yes, I will, Mama. I shall cheer for you. <coughs> the killers resumed their place on the volleyball court and resumed the match they were playing before you arrived. Time to drink water. Hey, fancy a lemonade? I see you're working up a thirst eyeing those bouncy buns playing volleyball. Thought I'd hand you a lemonade. Oh, so fresh, so tart. She leans in and whispers in your ear. Who would you bet on to win? Who's the MVP of your little heart? You're nervous. You don't want to hear these little killers. You don't want any of these killers to hear you talking about them or not talking about them if they're into that sort of thing. Pick someone, please. It's not like we bought all day, night, week, month, year, lifetime, eternity, or anything. Who put sand in guy that guy's shorts? Sheesh. Okay, I think, um, her. Huntress? Oh, shoot. Huntress overheard you. You got your eye on me? Yes, I do. <laughs> She's so fucking pretty. I'm flattered you do think I'm good, but honestly, I'm a little annoyed that I've been so flashy with my moves. Usually, I'm so sneaky that you could barely see me at all. Huntress is totally kicking my, kicking my butt. Correct answer. I'm allowed to support other people on this island, right? Oh jeez, I have no idea what the rules are here. Are they even rules? I should have stayed in my secret le Larry. My secret Larry. Wow, what a game. It's a tie. Can there even be a tie in volleyball? No one knows since this is everyone's first time playing it. These killers don't usually have time for team sports and there's a busy schedule. Breathe and detain your to shred. Hey, is Claudette crying? Are you okay, Claudette? Probably just shedding tears for her lost fellow survivors. You know, this resort had four employees when it opened. Oh, it's nothing. I'm totally fine. Whatever you say, boss. Oh, look. The killers have dispersed and are all cooling down in their own way. Spirit is reading novel, trapper stretching centrally in between chainsaw curls. What the fuck? Wraith is standing on the beach desperately hoping the Sam will swallow him up, and Huntress is doing some target practice with her bloody hatchet. Feel a nudge. Dwight is looking at you expectantly. You should make a move. Life is short. You can get snuffed out at any time. Carpe dim. Carpe now. Um, go ahead, chat one of them up. So, which killer has caught your eye? The mama. You head over to Huntress. After all, this whole sporty hangout thing was her idea. Might as well see how she's doing. You're really great out there. Where'd you learn to move like that? Whose moves? My moves? <laughs> These moves? They're nothing. Huntress blushes from beneath her mask. It's cute on cute, if you ask me. Sometimes you gotta look past the blood stains. A lot of men have run for their lives in my presence. You really learn a lot about what the human body is capable of in those types of situations. I love to exercise. In a way, we're all running for our lives when we keep up in shape. I guess I never thought of fitness that way. Maybe it's time to start. You never know who's coming for you through the bush, as fast as they can, propelled forward by hunger, desperation, or just plain old boredom. Doesn't seem like boredom is gonna be your problem, surrounded by all these characters. Survival. Uh, doesn't sound like boredom is going to be your problem, surrounded by all these characters. Survival. On the other hand, you're gonna need to compensate for your lack of killer instinct. What's your style? Imagination. What I lack in fitness, I try to make up for in imagination. I like to make up little games for myself to play. <coughs> My imagination's very vivid. I can imagine the two of us panting. Sweating, our clothes torn. I'm with you. Our hands gripping the sheer face of a cliff, cliff rocks wall as we climb. Not exactly where I was going, but sure. Up to a cavern entrance, a dark cave, slick with dew, shimmering in moonlight. I'm back with you. A pack of wolves awaits us there. Friends, enemies, dinner? We look into each other's eyes, then back at the wolf, and together we all howl. How? It sure sounds exciting. My blood is pumping just from thinking about it. Come on, everyone. The fun and games can't be over already. I get it. I get it. Volleyball? Not ruthless enough? Look at us. We crave action. We crave excitement. We crave for the thrill of the hunt. It's time to see if our friend here has the hunter's instinct. 
I saw you surveying me like a prey on the volleyball court, AC. Hunter's waves a bloody axe in the air and you step back nervously before you realize she's not waving it at you. She's handing it at you. Don't worry, I've got several of these. It's important to hone your skills, especially when you're in a new place where threats may lurk around every corner. You need to make sure you are the biggest threat of all. Just don't aim those things at me. <laughs> you can't even see me. Mini game consists of two parts. Top pointer, which rotates in clockwise direction. At the bottom target, you're going to be pointing at. Sometimes target immediately visible. Sometimes target's hidden until pointer arrives. Fail to land target and you will lose. You will start on the target area, not the end. Ready? Not bad. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, missed. Ah, oh, shit. I'm impressed. A worthy opponent. <laughs> I mean, I could have been better, but who's keeping stores? For the record, I am. And you got six points. Hatchet throwing? Cool, I guess. I like my stabbing to be a bit more up close and personal. Somewhere, a loud horn blows and survivors snap into action. Time's up. You're in. Get to the next activity. Wait, I need to save. Wait, 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 wait. This is this is a lot of. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. This is a nice place to stop. This was very fun. I genuinely enjoyed it. <laughs> it's so fun. I, I I enjoy visual novels very much, like visual novel, dating games, all that stuff. And it makes it extra amazing because. It's DVD, you know, we, we love DVD in this channel. I It's one of the first few games I've played with the people in the channel, actually. It's amazing. So thank you so much, Charlie, for giving me this game. I am genuinely enjoying it. I'm definitely going to continue this. So definitely, definitely, definitely. And I'm so for Huntress because I always found her super hot in the game. Ah, women are amazing. Sadly, I'm straight, but women are amazing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by my video. If you like this video, click that like button or feel free to follow subscribe whatever it is you want to do and um yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much and don't forget to stay safe sound and hydrated i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye